one and all. Day two in the British Shooting Show 2023. I'm here on the uh, Edgar Brothers stand, you might notice. And uh, we've got something new to, sh to show you because they launched their own brand of rifles on Thursday and they launched a brand new rifle on Friday. It's only Saturday today. So let's show you more. It's Graham. Okay, so Graham, what can you tell me about the EV2 from Edgar okay. Brothers Arms? Okay, this is the brand new Edgar Brothers Arms XV2, um, launched at the British Shooting Show yesterday morning. Um, it's our brand new pre-charged rifle, um, available 17722. We've got several colour options you can see on the wall behind us. Um, Half inch UNF threaded? Yeah, threaded 48 uh, centimetre barrel, uh, 500 cc bottle. Um, side lever operation um, can you swap the side lever over you can't no no they, oh, they are just uh, right hand um, only yeah just okay. right hand only uh quick fill there all oh, right okay yeah turn it around so you can see the other side yep so you've got a picatinny underneath generous one for bipod yeah yeah so uh yeah accessories underneath again picatinny rail on top um you've got five centimeter uh length of pull adjustments uh, and nine um, nine position uh, adjustable comb as well. Brilliant. 14 shot mag for the 177, 12 shot for the 22. Brilliant. Um, and uh, they're retailing at 499 pounds. Whoa, 499. 499, yeah, yeah. So we get to a price point that's important to us. Uh, yep. We've got other premium brands that, that, uh, that cover other uh, areas. You didn't imagine that. You didn't hear that wrong. Where's the price? And I'll put photos of the flyer in my Flickr album when I get home. So uh, awesome! And there's, there's other, are there other anodizing color options? There is, yeah. So there's um, obviously the bronze is the traditional black at the far end, which you can see has got some magpul parts on it. Um, and then there's an olive drab you can see here as well. There's okay. also a flat dark earth uh, right in okay. the pipeline. Let's. I'll put the coding again. So we've got the flat dark earth model here. This is the olive drab. Sorry, sorry, olive drab. This is the olive drab, yeah. Ah, right, okay, um, I'm getting... Flat dark earth, we haven't got with us this weekend. We're just uh, still still working on that one. Right, okay. But you've got the uh, an add-on Picatinny hand rest. Yeah, so these are Magpul parts that we're just sort of uh, showing. One, showcasing what Magpul uh, offer, uh, but also how you can customise the rifle to your own uh, personal taste or requirement. Cool. That's full stop on it. We've got Magpul accessories, but this is the black one, so that's the XV2. And awesome. What kind of weight are these, Graham? Good question. Oh, I'm not bother showing you the straight pull. 3.2 kilograms. 3.2 kilos, okay. Yeah. Brilliant. And now, still on the Edgar Brothers stand, we've got Will. Hi, Will. And you're showing off here uh, an AGT Vixen? Yes, that's correct. So this is the Vixen Long. Right, um, okay. So As it's obviously integrally suppressed. Um, carbon fibre rear bottle on the gun. Right. Um, this particular one is in 177. They'll also be available in 2.2 and in 2.5. We will be supplying them to the UK market, both sub 12 foot pound uh, and as FAC guns. Right, okay. Uh, we do have the short version here as well. Um, That's a serious length moderator, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. the actual barrel comes from approximately here. Right. Um, but inside, it's all designed to channel air back. Right, so it's like a reflex mod. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So right. it's designed to maximise sound reduction. So uh, the Vixen has an exceptional trigger unit on it as well. Okay, uh, across the AGT line, they all have brilliant trigger units. But the Vixen's the first one that's not a bullpup. So we're not dealing with any linkage in the rear. Got you. Which means that's, the sears are exceptionally sharp. Side, you can turn it around. It's side lever, is it? Yep, yep. side that's, lever. And it's it swappable? Is, yep, fully ambidextrous. And it can be done via the end user. So this is just a blanking plate. Safety is an ambidextrous push bar safety. Right. Locking to the rear and positive lock to the front as well. Brilliant. Okay. And it, can it, is it decockable? Um, not at the moment, I'm afraid. Not at the moment. No, okay. So, um, we fill on the rear. Okay. You've got oh, via a fill standard fill probe. Yep. And is, do, you have, do they come with blanking plugs for the fill probe? 
Uh, this particular model doesn't. Right, okay. I'm sure they will at some point. Yes, yeah, it'll definitely yeah. be a thing I think they'll introduce. They do on other models. I suspect it's something that will come in the near future. Brilliant. And you're also just showing me we have the AGT Uragan Prince. Yes. And Uragan 2 King. Yeah, so both of these models are built off of the standard Oregon. Um, right. which you can see down here in the green and red. Yep, yep. Um, the major difference with the Prince and the King is a twin bottle system. Right. So this is a system that we can upgrade any other Oregons with. Can you pick it up and show me? Yeah, just yeah, angle it. Point. Just from this angle, I can only see one bottle. And there we go. Two massive bottles. That's right. So the King are the two full length bottles and the Prince is the shorter twin bottles. Very nice. I've just shouldered this, guys, and those twin bottles sort of feel very nice in the supporting hand. So the, the twin bottle system is something that can be retrospectively added right. to an existing organ. Can you be can retrofitted. An, yeah, you can buy an additional cylinder and the linkage unit, right, and okay. you can upgrade to it. Um, it doesn't increase power, obviously. It sheerly increases capacity. That's all it's yeah. designed to do. But if, it, if it's got a compact rifle, it's perhaps FAC, then... Yes, it will really definitely help. increase with the shot count. Uh, Brilliant. As well with this one, the reason this was originally designed was the uh, guys over at AGT <laughs> found that the people shooting competitions all day long right. meant less air fills, meant the power curves longer and more consistent with the regulation inside Right, it. okay. Um, so quite a few competitors. That's a very nice rifle. And it's not that heavy. Despite the size of the barrel and the size of the bottle and the shroud, the twin bottles I should say, um, very nice carbon fibre finish on the stock. We've got adjustable stock here. Um, we don't have a oh, well, no, they, The we, rear pad will actually slide up and down. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, 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 cool. Awesome. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, right, we're live. Um, we also have the Vulcan 2 with us, uh, one of their more popular models. So the Vulcan 2, they've kept the stock a bit more traditionally styled, so it runs more along the sort of hunting air rifle style. Right, nice um, checkering there. Yeah, that's correct. Um, same as all the others, it's got a 1919 Picatinny rail across the top, so they right. don't offer dovetail rails. Um, right. It is all Picatinny 1919. Is it 20 MOA? Um, this rail isn't, so that is one of the jumps when we go to the Vulcan 3. We right, see okay. One of the upgrades. Oh, well, we're going to see the Vulcan 3 in a second. Yeah. Um, We've got the safety catch in the trigger guard. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, resettable. Uh, yes, that is, right. yeah. Um, What's, what shot capacity, Mags? Uh, so the shot capacity... So capacities? Uh, capacities on the magazine, so for the 177, you're looking at a 15 round capacity, and for the 2.2, two, a 12 round capacity. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, um, if we put this one back up on the wall, and have a quick look at the Vulcan 3. Oh, so... The Vulcan 3 is... Oh, that looks nice and slick. Yep, the Vulcan 3 is their newest air rifle. So right. this one, as we said a second ago, this has the 20 MOA rail. Uh, this one is available with a 700 mil barrel as well. Okay. Which a lot of people are now looking for with slugs. Yeah. Uh, especially with the FAC. Yeah, one. I was going to say, I think I've got a 700 mil barrel on my M3, you know, so FAC. Then it's it's proven to be a popular option. Most people who are asking us about the FAC version are also requiring a 700 mil barrel is right. the request at the moment. Obviously we've gone back to a carbon bottle on this one, creating a better balance of the gun, so the balance weight is almost perfectly over where the trigger neck is, so they float oh, just around the trigger That's balancing so nicely. They're designed to be comfortable in the hand. Uh, a bit big for an air pistol, but it balances nicely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, again, bullpup, same mag capacities as all of the AGTs, all the magazines are interchangeable across the whole range. Right. Um, so if you purchase one, your magazines will be um, completely usable across the range. Okay. The Vulcan, just like the Vixen we were looking at a moment ago, it's fully ambidextrous. Swappable so cocking lever, yeah. It'll be moved over, and, safety and got, again is the Safety's ambi in the middle. Is that resettable, yeah? Resettable? Uh, yes. Yeah, brilliant. Um, uh, is there an anti double load at all? Or? Um, I don't believe so on this particular one. Right, okay. You've got a generous shroud. You've got, obviously, you've got half inch UNF on the muzzle. Mo yeah, so as well as having a degree of sound moderation with inside, it does also have half inch UNF to expand that any further. If brilliant, required. brilliant. And quick question slinging options. Slinging options. So they don't build them uh, with sling swivels as standard. Um, what we'd say is that would have to be an aftermarket addition right. to the gun. There's a few models that uh, we at Egger Brothers offer and various shops offer as well to allow, right. allow slinging through the rear hoop 
and yeah. attaching onto the rails. Also. Yes, well that's what I do with my uh, impact to my Maverick. Yeah. Um, in fact, on the impact, sadly, I've got a tie wrap at the back because it doesn't yes. have doesn't have the cavity. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, brilliant. So, thank you very much. Have you got uh, anything more to show us? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Pause. So, thanks for your time, Will. Anytime. Cheers. <laughs> and you're all, you're at the show all day today and tomorrow. Yes, that's correct. You can come and find us. Uh, we are to the right as you enter the hall, and if you look large banner above, you'll yeah. be able to find us on the stand. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Thank Will. you very much. Cheers.